important anisotropic yield models like Barlath Yield 2000, BBC 2005, BBC 2008, Vector, and many more are not available in default Abacus material library. In this video, I will show how you can use these yield criteria in Abacus using a freely available material subroutine library. Not only Abacus, if you follow the instruction of this video uh, with a little modification, you can also use these criterions together with uh, other finite element softwares like LS Dyna, ANSYS, and Mark. First, make sure your computer can run Abacus subroutine. If not yet, you can find a video link in the description of this video that will walk you through the setup for running subroutine. This is an article published by the author of these subroutines. I will share a link to freely download this article. So this link will be shared with you. In next step, you will need the actual subroutine files. You will get these subroutine files and a user guide if you request the authors using this link. So I'm going to copy this link. By the way, be sure that all of these links will be in the description of this video. So everything I use here will be already available if you go to the description. So this link is now copied. Pasting this link into your browser will open up this page. In this page, you can drop in your email address and tick you agree and submit and shortly you will get a link and a user id and password using those you will be able to get all of these files in a zip folder unzip that folder and copy all of those files in that folder into any folder in your computer that you like i have copied those files into windows stamp and umdp folder this particular folder now let's open Abacus and draw an anisotropic CAE model. This is a simple 2D model in X, Y and 45 degree direction. So the material that I defined here is a simple linear elastic material. So I have defined the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. It can be anything because uh, after we create the input file from this model, we will delete these properties anyway but uh, start defining with a random elastic material here. Again, as this model is uh, supposed to use anisotropic material, we will again go to part and uh, define a material orientation. So in my case, I have a double click orientation, selected these, done, and uh, used the default orientation. And uh, just by doing that, I have this default global material orientation defined. Other than that, rest of the steps in this model is default. I have drawn it, defined a solid section, have a step assigned to it, created 2D plane stress meshes, defined boundary condition as this and fix and pulled using this edge, this one along this direction, this one this, and this one along this direction. And after all set, I have created a job using the name BBC05 because in this example, I will use BBC05 material. So I have run this job to see that all the definition of this model is okay. So it has been completed. So I am sure that there is no error in this linear elastic model. And as we run this job, a input file was created by the name BBC05 or otherwise you can right click and say write input. I have collected that input file named BBC05 and paste it in the same folder where I have put the UMMDP files. Now we will need to make two very simple changes in this input file. So open that file, go very bottom of that file. From the very bottom, if you scroll a little, you will find this material definition. That's its material, material name is material-1 and it has elastic properties. And also in the section, if you go a little up, you will find this solid section. And here you also define the material name and that material name is again material-1. So we have to make two simple changes. We have to change this material name and we also have to totally change this material name as well as these material properties and replace them with the elastic property as well as BBC05 parameters and hardening curve according to the definition of our subroutine library. So this uh, default material definition for a linear elastic material will be replaced by the 
in the format of this material subroutine library which is uh, named UMMDP and I will replace these three lines with these few lines. So the material name becomes UMMDP and uh, the material is a user material with uh, 19 constants and here I will one by one here I will put the Young's modulus Poisson's ratio zero means linear elastic and then minus four is the code for BBC 05 uh, yield criterion. And that would be followed by this BBC 05 yield criterion parameters up to here. And then uh, finally, I will define the hardening curve or the stress strain relation. Usually that is found from a uniaxial tensile test here. But I will come to more detail in how you input these parameters. But I can already give one information that each of this line has only eight numbers. So put in this order that uh, you have only eight input numbers in one line of this material definition. And uh, finally, the number of dependent variable. You can put the number of uh, dependent variable to be same as the number of constants to be safe. But usually it's much lower than that. In this case, it's probably only five. But putting a large number doesn't hurt. But uh, more on that later. So first we are gonna copy this from star material up to this dependent variable and then replace this uh, star material up to here with this user material inputs and the proper formats. And uh, this is the first change in the input file. And the second change would be the, uh, we will copy the name of this material and uh, go to this uh, section and after material put the same name which is UMMTP. Now we are ready to run this input file using uh, this BBC05 material in Abacus command window. Here we have Abacus command window opened. First we have to change the current directory and the current directory should be the same folder path where you have put all your UMMTP subroutine files and the input file. So I will copy this address, control C, and then here in your command window, type CD, that means changing the current directory space, and then paste that path where we had all those folder and enter. So your current directory has changed to that folder. In my case, it was already changed, but I just show you how to do that. Next, you have to focus into these three lines. You will find, of course, them in the description. So in these three lines, change the name of your input file wherever it's written BBC05 because in my case, the input file name is BBC05. So I put it BBC05 here, BBC05 here, as well as BBC05 here and here. But if in your case, your input file name is job1, so you will write here job1 underscore UMMDP dot four. Similarly here, job1 underscore uh, these and here after Abacus job you will write job one and here you will write also job one and it will followed by underscore UMMDP and finally INT. So once you have uh, changed these three lines using your own job name here, here and here, then you are ready to start copying these and pasting it in your command window. So first line I'm copying so and pasting here. It says that one file has been copied and then copy the second line and paste in the command window. So that goes through all those subroutine files. And then finally, if we copy the last line and paste and enter the simulation of your model, this model using BBC05 material has been started. The simulation is ongoing. The simulation is completed. To open the simulation result, we can type in abacus space viewer space database is equal to name of this job. In my case, it's BBC05, but in your case, if it is job one, just write here job one. Now you can type in, or in my case, it's simpler to just copy and entered. And uh, if I wait a while, I should get the abacus viewer showing my results. Just to mention that for this particular model together with BBC uh, 05 material took me about one and a half minutes to complete. Anyway, here is the result. And uh, if you see the stress distribution, we can already see 
that at the same displacement or the same strain, these three specimens are showing different stress distribution for uh, three different material orientation. So that means the anisotropy in this material has been captured using our BBC05 material. So one detail that I did not cover so far is how do you input your material parameters in this user material. The format depends on what sort of material you are using, if it is a Barla 2000 or if it is BBC 08. But more information on that would be available in this user guide for UMMDP that you will get when you order for the subroutine file. But as this video is already getting quite long, in a separate video, I will give you more information about uh, how do you use your yield parameter for different yield model as well as for different hardening rules. So please check out.